Hi friends, let's see a small plant monitoring system by using Raspberry Pi. So this is one plant mechanism I constructed with uh, a simple robo which is DC motors and this is my plant and this plant watering and moving this plant as per your sensor requirement you can adjust with these two ultrasonic sensors here I am using two ultrasonic sensors and this is my Raspberry Pi board so which is interfaced with all the modules and here my parameters are temperature which is DH, DHT11 sensor and this DHT11 sensor which is which is receives the temperature and which is displayed on Thingspeak also so this application which will send the information to web also and this is my driver IC uh, to move this mechanism uh, towards uh, sensor sensing uh, this is l 293 d driver IC it is a four channel driver and here which is uh, connected with the two motors plant mechanism and now I will show the application which is uh, for reading temperature for reading temperature with the help of Adafruit sensor uh, module and here I imported uh, different modules uh, from the library which is GPIO and time for delay purpose and system and uh, this is my Adafruit library and these are URL library and URL library request module so these are all downloaded and which are uh, imported from the library and here my relay pin which is regarding my pump motor and this is a sensor which is reading from dht 11 library and these are all de declarations like you can understand how you can configure your gpios relay pin input or output and the initial stage i'm going to keep it high because your relay is operating with logic zero now now I am entering into the loop part. So this loop which is trying to read the temperature value from DHT11 sensor. So this is the function you can use for Adafruit DHT read retry sensor. Once sensor is connected it allows to read the temperature and which is saved in humidity and temperature variables. So now here my condition is very clear if temperature exceeds 30, 30 degree centigrade your relay comes to on. So my set value is 30 degrees now. Whenever temperature crosses 30, which is equal to 30 or greater than 30, your relay, co relay comes to on. Otherwise, your relay should be off. And whatever the temperature values, you are reading here temperature and humidity, which is given to my web, which is thingspeak.com. So this is my uh, web portal, which is open IoT platform, api.thingspeak.com. And I just declare two fields, field 1 and field 2, field 1 for temperature and field 2 for humidity. So now I am trying to run this application, this is simple overall code, now running the module. You can watch the output screen on this. So my I got the temperature value 29 degrees and humidity is 46. So those two values you can watch it in ThinkSpeak which are updated 29 and 46 now trying to increase my temperature because my set value is 30 degrees whenever temperature exceeds 30 degrees so I am just working on working with humidity sensor so once temperature value is reached 30 degrees then you can watch the pump on state this pump which is pumping your water uh, with the help of this simple pump motor so you can watch out the relay status is on or off the plant movement which is operated as per ultrasonic sensors distance so you can watch the declarations here where I am connecting uh, two ultrasonic sensors I am using now from Raspberry Pi, I just interface the trigger and echo lines connected across 23 and 24 and another sensor trigger and echo connected across 9 and 10. And you need to configure either input or output. So I, I just set it all GPIO set, set, set up macro which is used for setting your input output configuration. Now entering into this distance calculation and this is your standard formula to calculate your distance. 
and this function which allows to read my distance value from sensor 1. So whatever the sensor value which is calculated and this distance final distance value which is written to distance variable. And the second variable which is distance 1, this is the function I am using to calculate second, ultras second ultrasonic sensor distance value and which is passed through this distance 1 variable. So this distance 1 and distance 2 are two variables which are calculated and written to loop. Now, so my condition is very clear, the distance, written distance value is saved in DIST variable and this DIST variable I am looking for conditions. If it is less than 20 and greater than 5, then only I am trying to move my plan towards clockwise direction and if distance 1 is less than 20 and that means I just written one condition for calibrating my distance and distance 1. So now. I will show the output response of this, I am trying to run this module. So you can watch out the distance value also. So whenever I am sensing 10 which allows to go backward and if I am sensing second sensor it will come to move forward. If sensor 1 detected, the plant moves towards sensor 1. And suppose you are detecting second one, then your plant comes to this sensor side. So again, you can watch this. If I am detecting this, your plant comes towards this one. And suppose you are detecting this second one, your plant comes towards this sensor. This is how you can vary your, you can watch out your plant from sensor 1 to sensor 2. You can adjust it depends on solar rays or sun rays so that application is also involved within i will show you in the next part thanks for watching so if you are looking for any raspberry pi based raspberry pi placed applications you can contact us we are from aerotech solutions hyderabad thanks thanks for watching